What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got a new choke in Benelli Beretta mobile thread. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we've been wanting this choke on the channel for a while. Hawk and I have been putting together quite a list for this, this thread for 410s. This right here is a comp and choke, and once again, Benelli Beretta mobile threads for the 410. This is a 385 constriction choke. We're very excited to shoot this, and today what I'm gonna do, instead of shooting the Mossberg, I'm gonna be shooting my Rossi. I wanna get more on this on the channel, so I'm gonna shoot my Rossi with it. I will be shooting my TriStar G2 Viper 410. And the ammo we will be shooting is the Apex PT 410. It's a three inch, 27, 30 second ounce. And what, I don't know what it's traveling at. We don't know the speed. But uh, we're awesome. gonna test this load at 40 yards out of the comp and choke, so let's see what it does. Check this choke out. This thing's pretty cool. As you can see here, you got comp and choke on there. You got two circular ports. Then you have these milled out slots. It's a pretty cool choke. Then you see the 25 thou constriction from the barrel. But So I'll shoot first. We haven't really shot too much of these PT410s. We've pretty much been shooting ninjas. But guys, I get a lot of questions about the baby rattle. That's completely fine. It's We see it in a lot of shells. We have yet to see it affect the performance. So here we go. We got the old Rossi out today. All right, so here we go. Rossi, 410 turkey. We got the Apex PT410. We got the pretty cool here, comp and choke. Once again, 385, 40 yards. I'll shoot the left target. Let's see how this setup goes. Let's see if this shell ejects. We haven't shot this in a while. Do I really need a lead slide for this? That looks pretty good. Moment of truth. Apex is two for two out of it. For the record, shell ejected, Apex is two for two in the ejection because I've been having problems with that. But I did have someone say that it may just be rogue because they were having problems with that as well with pressure. And this being a polymer stock and receiver, it would show signs of swelling faster. So we'll see. I haven't, I, I think that's all I've shot through this, right? For the Rossi, I think was rogues and apex is it. Everything else has been Mossberg. So we'll see, I'll, I'll make sure to take note of that and see if that's what's going on, but Hawk's turn. PT410 from Apex, shooting out of the TriStar G2 Viper with the comp and choke, 385 constriction. He shot high right, I shot high left. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> Let's go see how they did. Before we get in the pattern, as you can see here, I am wearing a shirt with the turkey target on it. Now, we get asked all the time why we pattern at 40 yards and not 20. Why can't we do some 20 yard patterns? Well, hold on a second. There's your 20 yard pattern. That's what this would look like at 20. Maybe slightly smaller. This was a 20 gauge load, I do believe. But guys, in all honesty, and joking aside, we, you should pattern your guns with the load and choke you're gonna hunt with at every hunting distance, 20, 30, 40, so you know how much leeway you have, what you got to work with. But for us, shooting all these loads to put a pattern like this on paper, it doesn't help you guys any. So yeah, it looks cool, but that's why. But once again, this is the Rossi 410 Turkey. This is the Apex PT 410, which we gotta shoot this more. This shot really well. Out of the Comp and Choke 385. Let's check the pattern out. All right guys, so here we go. You can tell I shot a little high and left. Once again, sight into what you hunt with, choke and load wise. But guys, this shot outstanding out of that Rossi. I mean, you got a ton of the brain still. The core pattern looks to be right here. I mean, you have a ton of pellets right there. I mean, that's 
that's lights out and seeing that I shot a little left you can see how much leeway you have to work with I mean you still got one two three four five six seven seven pier in the brain this turkey ain't flopping when you kick it out to the full pattern you can see this is a really condensed load I mean that Rossi with the comp and choke and the PT410 Apex, that jived outstanding, guys. This is a killer 410 pattern at 40 yards. I mean, it's perfect in my eyes, too, because you, you do have a good core with a lot of hits. But looking at this, you have a lot of pellets in, in a good size pattern. So you're going to have leeway working in. That's what I look for, because when you're self-filming, you got a lot going on, so you want to make sure you have a little leeway just in case you're not dead true where you need to be. But let's see how it did out of Hawk's setup, and we'll go and look at both of them. As you can see here, PT410, I shot high and right, but this is this this is a pretty tight pattern here. There's really that don't really give you much leeway. I mean, that that shot better than I expected it to shoot, but pretty good pattern if that was if I centered that that'd be a smoked turkey bird it's all that matters there's two in the brain dead bird <laughs> but I shot pretty good there's really no flyers I shot really good out of my setup so once again on my right this was the Rossi 410 with the apex PT 410 these are nine and a halfs by the way I know we haven't said that yet these are nine and a halfs at 40 yards out of the Cop and Choke 385. On my left, we have the TriStar G2 Viper 410. Same load, same choke. And as you can see, with both these guns, it's pretty consistent. I do think the TriStar is a tad tighter. The Rossi gives a little bit more leeway, which I like that. But you can't go wrong. If you're shooting a Rossi and a Cop and Choke, or a TriStar and a Cop and Choke with this load, that's really good performance right there at 40 yards out of a 410. I think we're going to be shooting more of these PT410s through all our chokes. Because I don't think we shot much last year with it. Alright guys, so once again, I was hawking my test out of my Rossi 410, his TriStar G2 Viper with the Comp and Choke 385, and the Apex PT410s at 40 yards. And as you see on paper, is all we care about on this channel is the performance at hand. Both setups jived well and performed extremely well at 40 yards. We will be testing the Apex PT410s through all the chokes as well as the Comp and Choke with different loads to see how it works. I want to see it in the Mossberg as well. So we got a lot coming with this, this choke and this load on the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It helps the channel more than you know. Comment what you thought below. As you know, I respond to all the comments as quick as I can. I love seeing the feedback. We, we all read the comments, so. So drop your comments below, let us know what you thought. We have a ton to film today, and we got, Hawk and I gotta get ready for Kentucky, so we're gonna keep her short and sweet on these videos. This is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on our uploads. We are gonna be going from the seven uploads a week down to our regular schedule as now we got scouting, we got hunts coming, we got to take these setups afield and kill some turkeys. So, but guys, this is Jake Sleesman. We got Hawk back here getting ready for the next test. Moose on camera. As always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.